So this video looks at the benefits of cloud versus data center or on-premise environments. Um, so it compares both from a capital expense, CapEx, and an operational expense, OpEx. So this can be useful for a non-technical audience uh, to explain what are the benefits uh, of moving to the cloud from a consumption, time, and financial perspective. This comparison is delivered in a simple table on the next slide. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Videos are posted weekly on a number of cloud certification and IT subjects. Thank you. Many companies I've talked to have agreed uh, that migration to the cloud will help them save money and operate more efficiently. So this is possible by uh, freeing you from basic network and equipment maintenance. Your people can apply their talents uh, to improving uh, products and increasing sales for higher profits. As many companies are dis uh, discovering that the drive uh, for, for lower, lower cost is really only the first step uh, on the cloud journey. So the, the cloud opens up all sorts of possibilities for innovation, which makes uh, not only IT better, uh, but it provides direct benefit uh, to the business, driving value and growth. So let's look at data center versus cloud in a single page table. So this table shows um, the, the benefits that cloud brings over uh, your data center uh, or on-premise environment. So first off, capital expense. Um, capex and operational expense opex so capital expense is where you have a one-off cost of investment for for components um, such as servers storage networking etc uh, the operational expense is where we can just pay for what we use so if we don't need it anymore we can remove it or we can delete it the elimination of such capital expenses uh, is also great for startups uh, and they don't need lots of upfront cash um, to purchase massive amounts of equipment in one go. So they can just pay for what they use. Uh, and, you know, if the startup fails, which many startups do, then they're not sitting on unused equipment and wasted money. So the capital expense is a one time purchase um, with many years of, of depreciation. Um, compared to the OPEX, OPEX expense of cloud, um, where you pay as you go on demand. So if demand decreases, we can turn off or we can remove systems with no charge. So in a traditional data center environment, um, rule of thumb is generally that we purchase equipment in a, in a CapEx model um, that is uh, times three or even times four more hardware uh, that we actually need. Um, so this is to ensure apps uh, meet peak usage over the lifetime of the hardware. So lifetime of the hardware is normally around three years. So, you know, therefore over this three year period, it's very difficult to actually predict what's going to happen uh, in the business during this time. Um, you know, how will the business grow over this period? How many users, you know, will the business increase by? Um, to what number, you know, how many applications we need over this three year period. So all this demand of new apps and, and, and increasing users need to run on our hardware. So we need to make sure it's up to the job over that three year period, which is very difficult to predict as we don't know what's going to happen over that time. So this is compared to cloud um, where we pay as you go on demand and we optimize the use of cloud on a day to day basis, adjusting consumption and utilization to achieve their cost goals. So if users and apps uh, demand, you know, spike in year two, then we have the flexibility and the scalability to adjust consumption on demand instantly. So in CapEx, IT could easily spend 80% of their budget, leaving small amount of budget left for innovation. So this is compared to OPEX, where you would only provision what you require at the time, um, saving costs. CapEx max utilization must be planned for and provisioned. So this is financially uh, inefficient compared to a cloud uh, where we can scale up or scale out our resources instantly. So within the data center or on premise, you know, it takes a long time to provision new resources. Uh, first of all, we need to order the equipment, which could take uh, any time, you know, a week uh, to three months, depending on availability and lead times. Um, then once it's delivered, we need to ship it 
inside the data center, have our engineers taken out of the box, rack the kit, configure it. This is all financially uh, inefficient. With the cloud, we can just scale up resources instantly, uh, straight away, there's, there's no waiting around, ordering kit, etc. So with data center, what you're really doing um, is you're letting your equipment dictate your business approach rather than your business need driving your IT infrastructure. Um, cloud is flexible, it's adaptable, it's scalable to meet ever-changing and new requirements. With data center, you're sacrificing agility um, when investing time, money and manpower into a capital expense. Um, cloud services, on the other hand, are very agile. We can automate, we can add, remove, um, we can change resources instantly. So lastly, with data center, we really pay staff to, to keep the lights on when they could be con contributing uh, to, to better products uh, and processes with, throughout the business. Um, either you, you are taking staff from what they originally hired to do, or you're paying additional staff either way profits are at risk. Um, so cloud frees the, the mundane tasks of system backup, network maintenance, patches, um, you know, software upgrades, and ultimately increasing employee productivity. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that explained the, the differences and is useful for you, you know, to deliver to a, a non-technical audience. Um, as always, uh, there's weekly videos released uh, on this channel, so please subscribe, hit the button um, to receive notifications when new videos are released. Um, that's it. Take care and um, catch you all soon. Thank you.